Da, da, da. What's going on, DK Team Aquascape? I got my son, Jameson, who's almost 22 months old. He yeah. loves all things da, da, da. Wawa, as he puts it, as in water. It's Saturday, it's a little special edition. I'm going to be building a new Aquascape pond at my in-laws as a belated Christmas gift. Jameson, like I said, loves yeah. Wawa, but he also loves equipment. So I brought home a few toys with me, and we are going to have a fun weekend. What do you think, Jamie? That. What's that? Is it the mini excavator? Yeah. Old reliable? Yeah. And the old redhead? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go check it out, see what we're gonna do. We'll walk you through it, and then little man and I are gonna get started. So here we are in the backyard. We've got an old about six by eight pond that my in-laws built years and years and years ago. Always got green water, never on. And being that I'm one of the members of Team Aquascape, I convinced them we need to aquascape them. So what we got going on, we're gonna tear this one out, which two of my other boys jumped in yesterday, actually excited about it, which is super funny because all they ever wanna do is play video games. And they love all things water as well. The only time we can ever get them out of the house to do anything other than play Fortnite Hi. and Roblox and all that fun stuff. So they got to work tearing out all the flagstone coping, the Hi. equipment, all we've got left is to tear out the liner and the retaining wall. We're going to take out these bushes. We're going to save those grasses. And this is the footprint we're going to be working with. So stay tuned. So this is our selection of boulders. I've been saving those for a while. I was going to build a cool wreck pond back at my house in Bloomington. But since we moved up north, go to work for Aquascape, we're going to utilize them here at my in-laws. We've got a great selection. Super excited. Got some cool ones in there. There'll be some neat spillway stones, destination stones. Even got a nice selection of driftwood here. So I'm excited to put this together. What do you think, Jamie? That. He's just excited about old reliable. So let's, uh, let's go unload things and get rolling. What do you think, Jamie? What's that? Mucky the muck truck. Or Maxi the muck truck. It's a chain. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna help? Yeah, that. Are you a good helper? Yeah. Are you gonna be the boss? Yeah. You gonna tell us how it's done? Yeah. Okay, good job. What, you wanna be the camera guy? Yeah. Okay, you hold the camera? Yeah. You're just gonna hold it on you? Yeah. So I just want to point out how important it is to teach them right, but teach them young. This little guy is such a great helper, such a good little wordsmith, super smart. I'm excited to teach him over the upcoming years of his life, but this kid, I just love him to death. Thank you, sir. Yeah, what do you think? Jamie, are we going to build a pond today? Yeah, it's hot out there, huh? Part of the challenge I have is getting my material that's staged way out there over to stage it here so that once I get this thing dug, I've got it close because I'm a one-man show on this project. Right now, I'm emptying out the pond. Jamie's being a great helper. We're watering my mom's flowers with the water and we are gonna get this pond demoed. These bushes out, mark this thing out and get rolling. Pond all gone. That's right, Jamie. We made short work of it. I tore out the retaining wall stone, folded the liner in on top of itself, one scoop with Old Reliable, got all the bushes out, one scoop apiece, got Mighty Max, which is a great, great teammate considering all my teammates are spending the day hanging out, enjoying the day off, and I'm crazy enough to be working on a pond, but hey, I love my job, what can I say? 
So what we are going to do is I'm going to mark this out. I'm going to excavate it, get everything cleaned up. I'm going to build my little bit of burn back in here, get my biofalls set, get my skimmer set, and keep rolling. All right, so I got everything preliminarily laid out. I think I'm going to put our skimmer right there, right off the patio. Right in this area, I'm going to cut in a real nice destination stone. So Jamie's got somewhere to play, put his feet in the water, chase fish, all that fun stuff. Because that is the main reason for this, is something for the kids to come out, interact, get them out of the house, get them out in nature, and really enjoy this pond. I'm gonna, this is the custom turtle that I'm going to turn from a flower pot into a patio pond bowl. I'll end up planting that up with some aquatics as well to help filter the water of the pond. I've got this ripple urn that I'm going to recycle and reuse in this pond. I'm gonna hide the biofalls back here, so I'm gonna have to do some boulder work back behind it and around it to allow for me to build this up probably around two feet so I can get a nice drop off coming out of the biofalls and hopefully one more drop into this beach area that's going to be over in here and then if it works out i'm also going to do a secondary spillway with a small pooling area into a, probably just a flat drop into the pond to help give some uh, additional sound quality and ambiance of the tranquility of this pond so i'm going to do three shelves i'm going to do a beach area coming off the turtle and urn area i'm going to drop down into a quick shelf down into another shelf and then all of this over here will probably end up being a little bit deeper so that we can put some koi fish in here and they'll be able to survive through the winter and we can enjoy this pond 365 days out of the year. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get busy digging, make short work with this, start getting the underlayment and the liner in and I'm gonna get rocking and rolling. I'm also gonna build some retaining wall with some boulders in the back as well. So it's gonna take me a little bit to get that done, but not long because I've got old reliable and I will get rolling. End of day two, uh, it's kind of more like 1.25. Being the weekend, you gotta do family stuff too. So, didn't get a full, full weekend in on this project. Hoping to finish it over the next two evenings after work, working on the Geneva job. Really, really excited with how this thing's turning out. Changed the design dramatically from my original intent and the reasoning is the art. So what I got going on is I ended up adding a pondless vault back there, which I'm gonna put that spillway bowl on top and drop it into the pond. That's going to feed the spillway bowl, the urn, both turtles. I might end up doing a bubbling rock as well, per my father-in-law's request. I'm gonna, I think, turn both these turtles into spitters. This one I'm also gonna make a spillway bowl, plant it up with aquatics. That one I'll plant up as well, but I don't think I'm gonna to make it a spillway bowl. The main reason for going with a pondless vault over here is I have a micro skimmer and we are out of the 1000 series skimmer that I'd be able to put two pumps in. So I went with what I had improvised. By doing that, it allows me not to have to put a bulkhead fitting in. Because of my water level, it would have been hard to hide some of the plumbing. Therefore, what I ended up doing was I shifted from over here to over here. I actually wanted to go back a few more feet, but I didn't have enough liner. So I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. The plan is to still get the double split, come off into a pooling area. It'll actually come down where this rock is completely scoped out. So the water should come through and drop off, come over and hit a pooling area and drop off. This will be a beach area for Jameson 
to play in. I did the urn in the beach area, mainly to attract birds, wildlife. My father-in-law is an avid photographer, and so that would be exciting for him to interact with and get some really great shots with his camera. So yeah, I'm super excited to get this thing plumbed up, get the waterfalls done. I've already got one of our tanks filling, so that'll be done here in a couple hours. A little after dark. In the meantime, I'm gonna load up equipment to take back to work tomorrow, because we got ponds to build. So I'll keep filming along the way, get this thing wrapped up, get it flowing this week. It'll be a couple seconds in vlog land for you guys to check it out. So, see ya. Team Aquascape fans, DK coming at ya. I am super, super excited. After a couple weekends, total of about three days. So I had probably right around 24, 26 hours in this entire build by myself solo. Super, super excited how it turned out. It was a really fun build. The boys are loving it. My in-laws are loving it. We've added fish twice, because the first time we didn't get enough, so we needed to add some koi. So we did that today, we put six in. So that would be exciting for the boys to come out every day and feed them, be one of their chores. But overall, super, super excited. It's 99% done, all I've got left, well, two things. I gotta fix the patio down here behind me. And then over there on the turtle bowls, I've still gotta drill those out and make them spitters. So I'll do that sometime this week. But just wanted to give you guys a wrap up of this project. Again, I wanna thank Greg and Brian for letting me document it and film it. Super excited how it turned out it's about 600 gallons ended up putting two pumps on it one to feed the main waterfalls the other one to feed the spillway bowl the patio pond and the turtle i found that turtle up in wisconsin like i'd said before retrofitted it to become a spillway patio bowl really love how it turned out added some marginals some tropicals some lilies my mother-in-law sharon has been planting up everything up and around it she's got some cool plans to transplant some stuff from her awesome landscape garden areas so I'm excited to see how this thing comes into its own over the next season or two. I know when I built my stream at my house last year, just from this year alone, it has really, really come into play. And I was kind of sad to have to move away, but super excited to be part of the team. Team Aquascape is such an awesome opportunity. I just want to throw it out there to anybody that even on the remote edge of their seat thinking about doing something like this, definitely get into this industry. Like Greg always says, we need more talented, awesome artists. I enjoy doing this with the team day in day out even though it's long days long hours it's totally worth it especially when you get to see the clients face and reaction when we power it on for the first time and you guys get to come along for the ride so i'm done yapping let me turn around show you what we got and we'll talk about it a little bit so again it's about a 9 by 15 pond I've got it about three foot deep over in here. I ended up doing a big, big fish cave. So that area right there is about the only thing that's exposed. The one thing I really like about this is it's got so much water movement going through it. Sometimes we have issues with predators such as blue heron coming in and eating the fish. This one I think will do really, really well in protecting that or uh, combating that due to the ripple effect in the water coming off the urn and both spillways. Yesterday we shut it down for a little bit just to kind of see how things were doing and the night and day difference between the water movement and it completely calm. So really happy with how everything cleared up. I've got a nice ledge in here, step down. I've got a few lights in here, which is super exciting. Did just a real simple split waterfall coming out. I might end up putting just a little bit bigger pump on it just to get a little bit more water movement coming off this side, but it's got great sound quality. My mother-in-law is loving it. She's out here every morning, every evening, reading her book, drinking her coffee. My son Jameson, who's all about the Wawa, he's out here every single day wanting to feed the fish every time he comes out here. So they're going to get super, super spoiled with them. But it's really great to see everybody coming out interacting with it. Still trying to figure out what to do with this piece of driftwood. I'm going to trim it down, lower it down where it's at, I think. We're going to plant some stuff around it. Got to get a fake rock cover for that. Like I said, fix the patio, keep planting up the landscaping. But really really excited hope you guys enjoyed this build it was a fun one to make definitely keep coming back to team aquascape on all our social medias make sure
make sure you come back, like, subscribe, tell all your friends. We're trying to grow this aquascape lifestyle movement. I got hooked the first time that I watched the shack build last year and it has been a whirlwind ever since. Super, super exciting stuff every single day. Great opportunities. Greg, Brian, Chris, Ed, the whole entire crew is just an absolute awesome, awesome team to be a part of. And it's one of the greatest work cultures that I've ever been privileged to work with. So again, hope you really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, super excited how it turned out. I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. But like I said, keep uh, hitting that subscribe button. That being said, it's been a joy. I'll see you next time.